Hi guys, time for another bargain store project. I found a new bargain store yesterday, newly opened. It's given me a bit of a problem. Spotted a couple of items there. Do I do something with a mouse trap? Three for 89 pence. Or do I do something with a rat trap? One for 89 pence. Bit of a decision time. I've done a couple of mouse trap cars in the past, so I might just be tempted to do a rat trap one for no other reason than it was 89 pence, so it was cheap. Um, I might just test it and see how strong it is, see if it's going to take me fingers off when it snaps. Because I would guess, being a rat trap, it should be more powerful. I don't need any extra power. Uh, I can only go five metres in my kitchen. Anything more than that's wasted. But um, it might be an interesting build. I think we'll just see how strong it is. <laughs> it's not very well made. That's not triggering. Rat will have to hit it hard to make it work. <laughs> That's pretty rubbish, isn't it? Still, 89 pence. trigger at all, is it? <laughs> mm. What happens if we just release it? Hmm. It's rather what I expected. <laughs> That's pretty powerful. Might have to be a bit careful with this one. The first part of the plan is to extend the arm using a couple of my flower canes, one from each side. I'll actually join them together at the end here, but that means that I can actually lift it up quite easily using that leverage. trim off these cable ties, might even put a couple more on for safety. And then we need to build a body. Oh, and some wheels, and uh, we'll have to trim this launch mechanism so that it actually works, because we do need to be able to launch it, so we'll probably have to trim the end of it a little bit, because it's useless as it is. Right, for the chassis, I'm going to use this. It's a bit of old curtain track, which should give us some rigidity to the body. Not quite sure how long to make it. Needs to be at least as long as the um, arms that I'm going to use, plus a little bit. Right, that's screwed to the back end, or front end actually, come to think of it. Right, just added a cross member at the, this is the back, isn't it? Just to give it a bit of stability. I need to drill a couple of holes for the axle to go through. Do the same at the front couple of holes for the axle, and we're getting close. Oh, we've got to make some wheels, yeah? Okay, we need some wheels. I'm going to use some old LPs. Got these off a friend who was clearing a house. Uh, 
so that's going to be my wheels. For the axles, I've actually got some square section dowel. There's a reason for that. If I just rub the edges off, it fits in there perfectly. And then I'm actually going to sit that inside a bit of plastic tubing. inside the uh, chassis just to hold it in position. In other words I'll cut that just right so it can't slide backwards or forwards or side to side. And then there'll be a peg down through the middle for the string to connect onto. And that should also add a bit of strength to it as well. We'll see. Right, that's the axle in position. Not glued to anything yet. That's me plastic tube in the middle to hold it in place. I've also put a couple of plastic spacers on the outside to keep the wheels away from the bodywork. Now we'll mount one of them on there, or two of them on there. What I've done in the past is I've put extra discs on the outside to give it a bit more strength. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get away without that this time. I'm just going to hot glue it directly. Right, that's the back wheels in place. I don't know if we can see it. A peg there for the string to go on. Now we need to sort out the front wheels. Right, that's the front wheels in place. So we now need to get a bit of string and go and have a test run. Right, we wound up. We're all ready to go. See if we can go the length of my kitchen. I've got my mobile phone in front of the front wheel to stop it turning because that release mechanism, well, it just doesn't work. So, let's see what happens. as far as we can go in my kitchen. So, there we go. Bargain store project number 30. An 89 pence rat trap, which I strongly suspect would never actually catch a rat. We've got four LPs for the wheels. A bit of curtain track for the body, a bit of wood, uh, some square wooden dowel for the axles front and back, uh, a couple of pen tubes for bits and pieces, and that's it. So, my first rat trap. I probably over engineered this, but uh, Oh, that was a bit of fun. Oh, uh, that's flower canes that I've just uh, tie wrapped to hold them onto the um, swinging arm. There we go. I'm afraid I can't show it going any further because that's as far as we can go in my kitchen. But as you can see, we've we've hardly moved on the arm. There's a whole lot further to go yet. So potentially we could go quite a distance. That's it. Done. Finished.